What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, and I want to take a second to acknowledge my hero, A.G. Barr. Did y'all see him? He did, a, I guess, a press conference today, and, and he was talking about how he feels the last election went, and I said to myself, this right here is my hero. Now, we all know the shenanigans that went on um, in 2016 that everybody acted as if you know, there were some real issues with Russia collusion. I mean, smart people knew that. Unfortunately, there was those people who got convinced so deeply to hate President Trump that they suspended all reality, logic, common sense, reasoning, all that stuff, and said, yeah, this fictional fairy tale sounds pretty believable to me. Mm -hmm. Even old man Teddy, a.k.a. my father, as we were going to pick up his fancy new lawnmower, did, you know, he got this fascination for lawnmowers for some reason. I mean, yeah, like, they're all over the place. So now, how many lawnmowers you need, Dad? You're just trying to make a Frankenstein lawnmower. I mean, it's like, I don't need a whole lawnmower. I just need a wheel off this one, and I want to go ahead and get a a, a, a a handle off this, and then I'm one of them I'm about just to get the string, see, because I'm building something. I'm like, Dad, why not just buy a brand new lawnmower? But anyway, that's not, that's not important. But even old man Teddy is able to see that that was corruption that whole two or three years. And he said, hey, it's coming out on them. Yeah. But a lot of people couldn't. A lot of people couldn't. They couldn't come to the understanding that if President Trump was a Russian spy, do you think that they would have allowed the investigation to even last three years, almost two and a half years, while he continued to destroy the United States because he's a Russian spy that's running the country? They weren't even in a sense of urgency to wrap it all up. I mean, the first sniff of collusion, they would have dragged him out by his ear. But instead, they said, well, you know, no, let's not rush. Even though he may be a Russian agent, let him keep working in the uh, position, getting intel briefings and, and have all access to all of our secrets that he could possibly even sell out to Vladimir and all them. But, but while he's destroying us from the inside out as a Russian agent, We'll just be, you know, tiddling along with this whole investigation. And we'll let you know. We'll let you know what we find. See, th these are the things that you should sit back as a person that has any type of common sense and say, that doesn't make any sense. Our government would, if, if he was a, a Russian agent, they would have known when he was going in. I mean, it wouldn't be no, what do we speculate? I mean, he could possibly be. No, he would have never made it that far. They would have vetted him through the CIA, FBI, all of that. He would have got vetted. But because they were all in on trying to destroy him, they made us believe for three years almost. And still, some of them still trying to hang on to it, um, made us believe there's a possibility. There's a possibility. It could be Vladimir Putin sitting up in the White House. But anyway, with that being said, here's A.G. Barr addressing how he feels about the situation. Let's listen to my hero. Address the role of the Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. I think, as you know, uh, I've commented uh, since I have been Attorney General okay. and, and even during my confirmation hearings that over the past few decades uh, there have been increasing attempts to use the criminal justice system as a uh, political weapon. It ain't right. The legal tactic has been to gin up uh, allegations of criminality yeah. uh, by one's political opponents based uh, on the flimsiest of, of legal theories. Huh. Now, let me ask you this, y'all. Do you think A.G. Barr would get out there and do a press conference and make these statements and claims if he doesn't have the goods? If he's sitting back going, I have no idea if there's any a smidge of evidence of wrongdoing, but I'm going to get out here and make these big, bold claims so that the media, Democrats, and all these deep state holders will be sitting back attacking this dude like this dude's just making us up. Um, he's not throwing this out because it's a theory. He has access to all the information. Comey should be looking at this, biting his nails like, oh, I'm big for nothing. I can't hide. I'm too tall to be hiding. You know, all of them should be sitting back concerned. Brennan, Clapper, McCabe, or all of them that were involved should be concerned when he gets out there with his cool, calm, and collective voice. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. This man is on a hunt to find out corruption and trying to restore some order. And I, for one, I loan that day of reckoning. I loan for it. Let's continue. Uh, 
this is not a good development. This is not good for our political life. Not at all. And it's not good for the criminal justice system. It stinks. As long as I'm attorney general, the criminal <laughs> justice system will not be used mm -hmm. for uh, partisan political ends. Mm -hmm. And this is especially true uh -huh. uh, for the upcoming elections in, in November. Oh. We live in a very divided country right now, and true, I think true. that it is critical mm -hmm. that we have an election right. where the American people are allowed to make a decision, okay. a choice, between President Trump and mm -hmm. Vice President Biden there you go. based on a robust, robust debate of policy issues. There you go. And there we cannot you. allow this process to be hijacked by efforts to drum up criminal investigations mm -hmm. uh, of either candidate. Now, um, I wonder who that mostly applies to. Because, see, what I'm sensing is that President Trump has been complaining about this, but A.G. Barr don't strike me as the kind of guy that would just simply go off on a witch hunt because President Trump decides I want to go after my enemies. And see, that's what the liberal media wants you to think. They want you to think that uh, there's no reason why President Trump and A.G. Barr is looking into this. Um, no reason at all. It's all been debunked. It's a conspiracy. What are they doing? You know what? He's using the criminal justice department to, to bludgeon his enemies. No. Um, it's just the fact that y'all in the media were complicit and out acting ignorant. It is if you cannot recognize all of that wrongdoing, whereas A.G. Barr recognizes it and he's not distracted by a whole bunch of this. He's a, a puppet of, of Trump and he's a, this and this and that. Um, he's not distracted by that. This man right here is right now, unlike Mueller, he got the scent. That's what he got. He is that bloodhound that really can find corruption, unlike Mueller. That they always like, he's a bloodhound. Well, he had a horrible, raggedy nose because he didn't smell all that corruption. Huh? I mean, I smelt that from here at the house with my jacked up sense of smell. I'm, that, that smells like corruption. And uh, AG Bar right now, when he came in, soon as he sniffed it, boo, that's what he did. Start barking like, I smell it. And he is going to stump it out. And this is important because coming down to the, the wire here with 2020, um, I got a gut feeling he's going to be very preemptive on ensuring a fair election um, to make sure the Democrats who know that one on one, creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy, cannot compete with Trump. So you best believe they're looking for an alternative. Thus, we need to have mail in voting and all of that stuff so we can have a raggedy, just gray area election where it's like, I don't know, all these 15 million votes just fell out of nowhere. Uh huh. Yeah, we found him laying on the side of the road in a big uh, a satchel right there. And I mean, you know, so all of that stuff, A.G. Barr, I got a gut feeling is on that. But he's really also on the trail of all of these people who set this whole thing in motion with Russia. So I hope for one that when he catch up with that nasty stinking rabbit, he just eat him alive. Yeah, see, some of y'all that don't hunt, you don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, you got to do it. Hunting dogs, beagles, you know, most of the time they just chase the rabbit. But if you got a real good one, like my Uncle Ron owned, her name was Snow. Her name was Snow. Snow was the only hound dog he ever had that could physically catch the rabbit. That was a good thing, but a bad thing too. Because when she would catch it, she would eat that mug. Bring it back to my uncle all bit up like what? Oh, you didn't expect me to catch this, did you? But I got it. So when he catch that rabbit, eat them all. That's what I hope. Now you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget, hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like something, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. Link's below. Want to donate to Kevin to Kevin's Corner? Feel free. Link is also below this video. And make sure you're still subscribing. Your notifications are set to all. God bless y'all. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.